This is P. Walpar, and thanks for watching my video. Today I'm wearing my GoPro on my head and walking around in a Harbor Freight store. I apologize in advance for all the shaky camera work, but I don't walk all that steady. I invite you to stroll around in the store with me. Friends, let's walk into the Harbor Freight store. Welcome to Fayetteville, young lady. Thank you, sir. I was talking to her a while ago. They just moved here from Powder Springs. Did you get your thing exchanged? Huh? Oh, go ahead, sir. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Besides standing here procrastinating. How come on time I get a buggy, it's out of wheat, the wheels are out of the line? I always get one that wants to turn the lift. We got some bodacious air compressors here. You're in the air compressor market. That one looks like it's pumping a lot of air. And it's better for $1,200. Two horsepower motor on that booger bear. That'll pump air up to the up to the roof and back. Makes my dinky little air compressor look like a toy. Hmm. I'm going to spend a little bit of time in here today, but there's no way I can spend as much time as I'd like to. I could spend the entire day shopping in this store. I guess you would use that to lower the transmission out of your car. Under hoist. What else could you use it for? It wouldn't be hard to make one of them. I'm not likely to balance any tires anytime soon. Oh yeah, I need a pneumatic tool. I wonder where it is. James. I'll give you this coupon number for 25% off. Okay. Well, this and does it take it off of sale items already? What? That's, that's only for on one sale. item. That's already on. The stuff I'm getting is already on sale. It might not. That's why I don't think it's going to work. Portable soda blaster. Little sand blaster. $29. That over the last every bit of 15 minutes. Okay. There's what I was talking about. I want one of these. I'm tired of whenever I pump up my tires, I have to go get my tire gauge, check
check the pressure and then put it the air I want in there. This has a gauge on it. I could just stick it on the tire and blow till I got the right pressure in there. 1199. It's well worth it to keep from having to use that tool every time. I'm gonna get one of them. Order here in the floor. Well, I don't think I need any bench grinders, so we don't even need to go up that row. That's a nice little winches. I wonder if I could use one of them on my zero turn mower. That'd make a nice little do, do funker. $69 for that one. $6.99. What am I going to strap? I don't know. I'm getting up for the truck. Can't beat the price. $6.99. I'll just come borrow yours. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it. I still haven't found it. You have to ask somebody. Yeah. I never go somewhere where I don't have to ask somebody. Here's your charger thing. I got it already. That's not the right one. I opened it up and make sure it wasn't broke. Alright, they got your broke one up front already? Yeah. Alright. I would have thought it would have been right here with the winches and stuff. But Maybe you ain't got to it yet. I'm just going to start hitting rows. And when I get done, I'll see if I got everything I need. Hey, James. Yeah. These gloves are handy as hell. If you ever need any, they're usually on sale for three ninety nine. Wow. They're not on sale today, are they? They might have a coupon for them. They're pretty good gloves, anyway. I've got a couple of them. Something here mom wanted, a new driveway alarm. Uh, Ours quit working. I think this is it right here. I seen a cute I got a coupon for that for four ninety nine. Oh, seventy nine cents right now. Oh maybe that was it, seventy nine. Yeah. That's the one I saw then. Okay, I got that. I might have crossed it off my list. What yours break? I'll probably just put batteries in mine and it would work. Yeah. But I'm not gonna argue with it, I'll buy the damn thing. Still should be able to use that coupon, shouldn't it? They didn't print out the barcode. Worth a try, ain't it? They don't have the barcode, they're gonna have to look it up probably. They got a small tool bag for four ninety nine. I'm gonna find yeah, that. some tools this is a place to shop this is a handyman's dream hangout whether you buy anything or not you can have fun just looking
wonder how that thing would do it cutting nails. I mentioned in the video the other day that I need to take my deck down. And I wonder why do I bring that subject up now? I've got a notion I can use some of that deck wood, especially the under framing, on my boat house that I want to build. So I'm going to get the energy up pretty soon to go ahead and disassemble that deck. See if I can salvage any usable lumber in there to use on my building idea. If so, I'm wondering if it would be easier to cut nails with this than it would be a reciprocating saw. Says it'll cut nails. And they got a blade that comes with it here for $9.99. I'm gonna take a chance and buy one. Wanna buy me a set of these knee pads. Might not use them twice a year, but it'd be well worth it for $3.99. If you ever get down on your knees to work on a car or something, you wish you had them. There's your ammo can. Where? Seven five one seven nine five two three. I'll think about it. I want to find that tool bag. What? You can get a whole pack of them over there for about three or four dollars. I've got a list here I need to be sticking to or I'll wind up buying out half the store. Let's don't even look over there. Is that it? Um, I got this, one this pad piston compressor, all I do is use two pair of channel logs. But that would work. I redneck half my repair. Battery cutoff switch. That'd work on the boat, wouldn't it? Prevent yeah. battery drain when vehicle is in storage. You could put that under your hood somewhere where somebody can't find it. They couldn't steal your truck without resetting the battery. Yeah. You won't be able to find it when you need it. I don't have anything in the truck. This is where we're it. Oh, we'll get it. Put it up under your back seat. If you have to change the tire, you'll be glad you got it. Huh? Oh, I had these on my list too. Oh. Eight, nine, nine, I got a coupon for something. Shop towels. Nine, nine is the last two numbers in the item. Or the item number? Nine ninety nine. This is eight nine nine. They ain't the same pack. How is that going to help me? It might not be the same shop towel. There they are, right there. I'm looking at the wrong sticker. Twelve ninety nine. This is the right one. Look for your oil funnel. Here it is. How much is that? Four dollars. You might not want to pay that. Use it on your lawnmower too. 
Excuse me. Helping hands. No, was that a remote control? Yeah. Here's what you need, guard dog. Warning protected by a guard dog. I got one of these by the driveway. Finding some good stuff for you? I could buy a whole damn store and some. <laughs> Boy, look at that. You could plug in stuff for a week. Yeah. Now that is not as dumb as it looks. Behind the TV console where you jam everything in one plug? I don't think it's worth $25. What are you looking for? Different item number? Item number's on there. Right here in the top corner. Six three nine three one. Where do you see an item number? I don't see an item. Oh, there it is. The number, Six four one oh nine. I see right there, isn't it? Uh uh. What's this number here? Six three nine three one. Sometimes your item number ain't right, you have to answer. Well, I can see right now, I don't know how to work it. Whatever handyman needs, a real nice toolbox. A toolbox is worth more than the tools I would be putting in it. My old ragged tool. Would be nice to have one of those though. You'd know where all your tools are. You wouldn't have to go digging in 10 different boxes like I have to do all the time. 
$200 really ain't too bad on that one there. What is this one? $300. That's what I should have in the basement. I should have in heaven is two different things. That must be for stirring paint or sheetrock or something. Sheetrock mud, man. Oh, here we go. That's metal. I think I found my tool bag. It's bigger than I expected it to be. Too big for my magnet. Three ninety nine. Wouldn't that work? That's pretty flimsy. What is it? A tackle box? I don't even know how to work it. Nope. through the center of the aisles here. Battery chargers. Miter saws. I got one wore out, but I got one. Air compressors. More air compressors. Welding helmet. Got them. Got it. Portable generator. 400 bucks. Don't got it. Welders. I got a little cheapo, but I got one. Sure was admiring their toolboxes they got in here. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Apache something. What's an Apache? That might be what I need for my magnet. Alright my friend, I think I done found what I need for my magnet. I was gonna go with this. The only problem with my magnet, I've already had the rope attached. If I notch it out right here, I can leave the rope attached, put the magnet in there, and hopefully it wouldn't get stuck in my vehicle. I believe this is better than the... What the hell is that little screw for? I believe that's what I need for my magnet right there. How much is it? 30 bucks? I could use my 20% off coupon. Oh, that's a big one there, ain't it? This is perfect. $14.99 I use. Well, that's not bad. I can do more damage to my vehicle. If it ever got stuck inside the trunk, it'd be better to have it in here. We do a video on that project, my friends. This is going to be my magnet carrier from Harbor Freight. We're going to put this ammo box, which is more cheaply made, right there. I don't have any more trimmers. Then again, I could use that too, putting tools in the car. Any what? I didn't have the trimmer. Oh, what a shame. Uh, what row was I on? Let's see. I think right there is where I left off.
Excuse me. Alright my friends, how many people need a vice? I bought one of these at Lowe's, which was basically the same thing, and installed it in the basement. I've got a small vice mounted in the basement. I'm gonna get my shop built out there in the garage in the get my shop built out there by the boathouse, we'll come back and buy a big one. I got more tools now than I'll ever use. What's your opinion, friends? Don't you think we all could use some more tools? Need more tools. Maybe that could be the title of this video. Tools, tools, and more tools. Two-piece heavy-duty pipe clamp set. I'd use that in a hundred years. Never use it. <laughs> Locking chain clamp. Oh, red naked with a pipe wrench. Tailgater jet gas generator. That is surprisingly heavy. Oh, I know what I want to ask him about a rock tumbler. Alright YouTubers, Walter's been getting interested in the hobby of rock tumbling. Why would you say that? I'm just interested in all kinds of things. I didn't realize they had so many different kinds here. I don't want no $79 job. There's a vibrating tumbler. I don't think that's what I need. It's going to be this rotary tumbler. Itty bugs. Thinking about treating myself to a rotary tumbler. Any of my viewers out there might want to run some searches on uh, rock tumbling. It's amazing. It's an amazingly interesting little hobby. In my YouTube videos, my YouTube video watching has got me interested in that hobby. Let's see, 50 bucks. What's 20% uh, 20, 20 off of 50 bucks? Okay, put your brain in gear, Walter. 20% off of 100 bucks would be $20. 20% off of 50 bucks would be Ten dollars, I guess. That don't sound right either. Anyway, I got a coupon. 
Here's my rock tumbler, Jane. $49, I'm going to get it. Oh, I didn't think about the chemicals. Where do you get them at? There's a polisher accessory. There's a chemical right there, I guess. And where do you see that? Oh. You got the accessories right there. Yeah. Tumbler Media Ceramic Polish and Abrasive. You know what? You could really get into some cost. You've got to pay that, that much for abrasive. That stuff's $164. Rock polisher accessories. Laboratory time now, that's that thing on the bottom now. Probably that thing yeah, down there. That down there. Yeah. The media is $18.99. Abrasive pads are $12.99. I should have studied up more. I don't know what media to get. This is 300 grit. That's all they got is 300? Yeah. Well, you know what? Amazon probably would sell me a whole bunch of that probably stuff. Probably a whole kit for. This is $12.99 for that little bag? Yep. Probably don't take but just a few spoonfuls. What about it viewers out there? What's your suggestion on what I should use for an abrasive for my tumbler? I've already decided I am going to buy it, even if I don't have the chemical. Grit pack, let's read these directions. Ain't got none. Rock polisher accessory. That ought to get me started anyway. Four ninety nine. Six seven six three one. It ain't fifty dollars. It's forty four ninety nine. As advertised, we're going to get it for forty four ninety nine plus twenty percent off. There we go. We got to we'll figure up some math in our head again. Oh, I can't get through there. I guess they're trying to dry up this water. I guess we're going to Amazon or somewhere to get our polishing chemicals. Uh, abrasives, I mean. Tumblr Media polishes small metal parts. I'm thinking I can do better on Amazon with my abrasives. We're in the market for for rock tumbler accessories. Gloves for my metal magnet magnet fishing for my magnet fishing. Picked up a case of these, and none of them already open, but they feel thin and yet good enough to protect your fingers. I'd like to try them on, but I've got them staple shut. I just tried that one on, and it seems a little tight. They made those for some Chinese dude's hand. <clears throat> they don't come in different sizes. I don't think. With 
more items than I need. I don't know about this 300 grit medium. But we'll buy it. I could spend all day shopping in here, but I don't got all day. So let's uh, let's wrap this video up. My suggestion to any of you people out there in the market for some tools, check out your local Harbor Freight. They got all kind of toys for little boys. And for us big boys too. This is P. Walpar signing off. Go to your tractor, I mean, when you go to your Harbor Freight, find one that's got more than one register open. I must be the one, two, three, four, five, six, eighth person in line. In part three, you will see my haul for today brought to you by the Duke of Man from Mars.